Now, can she keep quiet? <laughs> I don't think so. What's going on in the world stage? From the Waken Heart Collective perspective. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm Nancy Walters. This is the Awaken Heart Collective. Now, I struggled with this a little bit to even include this in this channel. Um, this section is going to be my take on what I see happening on the world stage. I'm going to try to do it with a little humor and try to do it um, with curiosity instead of, you know, all the division that we're seeing that's happening left and right out there. I mean, there's so much going on that I couldn't just speak into, I mean, we're divine, we're feminine, we, um, nobody's coming to save us. There's, you know, when we take control of our own emotions, when we go into flow and we dive back into our essence, and when we change ourselves, you know, the, the world changes really, because we're not just, we're just not a um, body a meat suit we have an energetic field around us and even though someone might not recognize it in their conscious when we change ourselves the divine the um the unspoken consciousness recognizes that in themselves and inspires change within them on like a quantum level on an energetic field so everything that's going on in the world like the political stuff that's going on that I awakened to in the last two and a half, three years, it's still going on. It's not over. There's a bigger gen agenda at work and we'd be called conspiracy theorists for even thinking of it or even talking about it. Censored, vilified, canceled. Um, there is a big narrative at play and it's really meant to weaken our society. And we see aspects in the news. I really haven't paid attention to the news in the last 12 years. This is before I even paid attention that was going on the world stage. Before it would be like, ah, uh, what's going on? I'd be at the gym, I'd see something. Oh, what's going on? Okay, that's all I need to know. I don't need to know anything else because I didn't like the way the news was making me feel. I didn't like all the negativity. I felt like there was racism happening, not even to the level that I see happening now. The division over the last couple of years, it makes my head spin. So at that time, I didn't want to feed into the collective consciousness of fear. So I don't necessarily know if it was spiritual bypassing, but I was more in the, you know, in the spiritual, all is good. I'm Pollyanna. You know, I don't feel I was completely grounded. Now I see everything going on and I have really no political affiliation until really the last, uh, you know, when we voted in 2020. I definitely lean more towards one side. I don't like politics. I think it's all complete bullshit and fuckery. And we didn't vote for these things that they're doing, that that they're implementing. Like, I didn't vote for this stuff. But waking up, opening up our eyes, I feel is so important right now because there's so many things that are planned for us that we're not liking to, and they're conditioning it, conditioning us to it through the media. I call it corrupt media because it really is. It's really um, controlled by big tech, big pharma, um, the government, everyone, they have control of this narrative. And we see that it worked because that was, we were assaulted with a day and night during the COVID, I shouldn't even say that word, during the CV pandemic. It was propagated left and right through our television screen. They didn't even have to come in and enslave us. Literally through the propaganda, so many people walked out and did exactly what they told them to do. And now we're learning, which a lot of us have already known, that everything that they told us was going to stop this thing from spreading actually wasn't. And and you know, it's actually more harmful than it was good. So we're seeing a lot of these narratives crumble. And what's been great about it is so many people have opened their eyes to it. Like if we didn't have this so in our face, would we even really recognize what's going on, which has been going on for years and decades. So now it's time to clean it up, to have more 
awareness and really to dive in to our intuition and that's the place that we come in where it's knowingness we're like oh my gosh this doesn't feel right and then having the voice to stand up and speak out against it one of the things that recently just happened is these recent elections and um i actually am coming from a place where i'm actually disappointed though i know nobody that we're going to elect is going to have all the answers it's really up to us but the election process is broken um, we are mailing in ballots that are getting harvested um, there was fuckery at the polls where uh, people weren't able to actually vote um, because the election um, machines were not working properly. There is um, the whole thing about voter ID. We need ID for everything in our lives. This is just an example. And saying that we don't need IDs to vote. Well, there's places like Florida, Texas, and Georgia that reformed their voting. And Florida even had a hurricane happening before they voted. They had their results in the same night and then they dealt with hurricane cleanup so it can be done me as an american citizen i want to go out and vote like the first time i actually voted in an american election because i thought you know it didn't make a difference now i know how much it makes a difference because i thought politicians were all liars which a lot of them are um, the majority are but i love my country I love my country. I don't like seeing what's happening here. And I want to be able to go to the polls and cast my vote. I don't want it to be, you know, particularly like if it's harvested or um, massive mail outs. I mean, I forgot what state it was, but they voted for somebody that actually died. So their vote went to somebody that died before election night. So let's have clean elections. I... There's people in Mexico right now, in Brazil, who are at massive protests. Millions of people in Brazil are peacefully protesting because Luna, the left, um, I, you know, this isn't about left versus right, but they put somebody in power that wasn't elected. Radical, radical ideology. And they wanted their Bolsonaro, they wanted their person in. They didn't vote for this person. They wanted him in and they wanted him to stay in power. So I'm seeing the beautiful rising up of these Brazilians. Now here's the thing. Will we unify? Will we stand up against the corruption in our electoral process? Because it's going to come a time where something like what's happened in Argentina or what's happened in Venezuela, what is happening in Mexico, we're seeing this all over the world, that we need clear, clean, and safe elections. And we need elections that we can trust in, where our voices are heard, where, okay, if you vote one way and it's, and it's fair, okay, we accept those results. But when there's, you know, look at Arizona. It took them a week to count their ballots. A lot of this, this, um, irregularities happen there and god bless carrie lake she's not going to concede because all these people are coming forward how they weren't able to actually vote so i mean if if the governor that supposedly won won fair and free okay we can accept those results and if there is a recount or something that happens and it's showing that there were was corruption that was actually happening in the electoral process. Well, let it be known, okay? That's all I want is fair and free elections because there's a lot happening. I mean, there is a lot happening now. There was just a summit in Bali, the G20, where you know all these people are talking about climate change, and yet here they are flying on all their private jets, 400 private jets or more, to Indonesia using up a lot of oil. So here's the thing is it's becoming this whole elite thing. Like what they say isn't for them, it's for us. And what they voted on over there is to have some kind of health passport, which is very disastrous. I'm not gonna go into too much detail here. This can be saved for another time. Um, we saw how well these Vs worked and how it didn't do anything for the health and for the next pandemic that will be planned at some point, it's going to come. And that's why I feel so passionate about coming on and talking.
talking about these things because they need to be talked about because if not, history will repeat itself. They're literally trying to sweep under the rug everything that happened and they're not even taking responsibility for this mass campaign that was against people. Many people are dying because of it, like the lockdowns, mental health, um, kids in school and their education and in the masking where it actually doesn't stop transmission or a virus, all this effery amongst other things is gonna happen again, unless we the people say no, mm -mm, this isn't for us anymore. But anyway, back to that summit, they voted to have a health passport because that worked so well, right? <laughs> it worked so well. So what a health passport was, it's whatever the who decides we should have. And that does, doesn't mean the CV, CV, you know, pokey pokey. It means anything that they deem that we should be poked against, right? I'm sorry. It's just, and, and then it's gonna be tied to a social credit score and a social credit system. It's already happening in China. So that's a big thing. And then another thing are these women's rights that the media chooses not to talk about. In Iran, a woman was killed in police custody for not wearing her hijab properly, her headscarf. And they beat her to death. And Iran's been doing major protests since then. And what's beautiful is actual men are standing up for women's rights. But the thing is, there's over, there's about 15,000 peaceful protests. A lot of them are women, students, men, like young people that peacefully protested that are, have been sentenced to death. And it's horrific to think that this might actually be carried out. And women are to be raped before they are killed because they don't want them to go to heaven. Like this is deplorable, this cannot happen. But is our media, talking about it they pick and choose they pick and choose depending on what's going to further their political agenda and their narrative i mean they were just in china and the uyghurs have been literally slave there's actual a genocide going against them they're put into slave labor but nobody talks about it so i had struggled with whether to include this this will be a section in um the Awakened Heart Collective, because as an awakened heart, as the solar feminine, which is the dark feminine, she enacts change. She wants change. She's Her heart hurts. Um, she's enraged at what's happening with humanity. And that's how I feel. And to, you know, have this whole channel on Awakened Heart, there's the light feminine, there's the dark feminine, they're embraced together. Um, I couldn't, I, I wouldn't be able to, um, I wouldn't be able to feel like I was being honest, not talking about these things. I don't feel like, I don't feel there'd be an exacting change happening, which I so want, especially women to rise up and have change because changing is not only within on an energetic, on our essence, in our own lives, in our collective, but it is also change that is happening on the 3D. I mean, we can be in the 5D all we want, and that's what I see happening with a lot of channels, a lot of social media, a lot of people. They are so afraid to lose followers by talking about these things. They're afraid to use their voice. Maybe they're not gonna be so popular. Maybe I won't be so popular for bringing these things up, but that's okay because the ones that you know, the, if, if this resonates with you, great. If it doesn't, then maybe this channel isn't for you. Or maybe you could just, you know, listen to the things or tune into the things that are more about the sacred divine feminine and more about, you know, women, you know, empowering themselves, maybe more of those aspects and stay off of this. But I couldn't not touch upon what is happening in the world because we are here as spiritual divine beings in human form, but we are here on the 3D. We are here in this world. We are here to learn. We are here to create change. And we do create change within ourselves, but it's also here on earth in this time space reality. So I will be touching on things, world events, trying to approach it from more of a curiosity standpoint, not an accusation or in a divisive place.
place. Maybe come to it with a little humor as well, because when you do tune in, it's like, <laughs> what the heck is going on? It's like, makes my head explode sometimes. So that is what this section of this channel will be. And I'd love to hear your comments and what maybe I can touch upon that might be going on in the world today that you know, makes your head spin. But we do need more people to use their voices to help create change and to stand up against what is happening and what is planned. And it's not under the rug anymore. It's out there in the open. And there is such a big agenda plan for us but as we have the people that wake up to all the I'm gonna say it fuckery going on they won't stand a chance and I believe we've already won we've already won it might get dark and dirty for a while but as more of us awaken to the greater truth of ourselves as spiritual beings humans we can create our own realities but we need to help others pop awake too and stop all these and by doing that, we create change not only within ourselves, but the world around us as well. So again, thank you, and I'll see you on the next one.